please hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I have a book collection to show you. They're kind of like books and play sets kind of all built into one. I want to flag you guys if you ever see these anywhere in a thrift store or garage sale to grab them. Even if you don't have the pieces, you can make the pieces easily using Google Images. This one is my favorite, the one in the front, the Play Store. I did pick this one up probably when I first started practicing way back early 2000. They were published in 1997. Again, I don't think I probably paid 1999, but I would now because I know how awesome they are. So I'm not sure if they still have them in print or not. They are published in Canada by Scholastic. So this one is my favorite one. And this, these are all the different titles in this series. Kitchen, Cleaning, Garden, Garage, Farm, and Store. So I do have them all. I've been collecting these for a while. So they do come like a book format and they have all these little pieces that you can punch out. So I like using these for working on categories. So I'll show you the store one first. So you open it up. And you will see kind of like a little market stand. And then on this side, you have the kind of things you can buy from there. There is a little pocket here. I never really used that. So that's your first store. And what you do is either you set them up ahead of time, which I like to do, because they're a little bit tricky. I've laminated the pieces and then you can just kind of put them in on the shelf. So you can work on the sh sound if you're working on shelf. And you can take them off and put them in your cart or in your basket and that's what I like to do. So when I'm setting up the book I'm picking up vocabulary that I want to target either for articulation sounds so maybe if I'm working on the k sound that like cookies and cake and bike would be great and there's just so many pieces that I can just pick and choose what targets I want to work on. So there's this little market stand there's a toy store. The nice thing is it comes with the pictures. So if you lose the pieces, you can just scan the book and make new pieces. So even if it comes incomplete at a thrift store, you can make it. I would just make sure you have all these flaps. So this is the toy store. I like the toy store because it open and closes. So you can see the toy store shelves there. And then this is like a little deli. Hmm. And then you have the hardware store, that one doesn't open, and then the bakery opens. Like that. So sometimes what I do, again, I'm just working on two categories, I actually keep it open like this. You can see the toy store and the grocery store. And I think it does come with a little cart too if you want. So there's like a fridge, more shelves. And then I think because they like to open the doors so that's the ones that I used to use a lot because they like to open the doors and see what's hiding there and we always have my trusty little shopping cart handy to put items in so here's what I use for a shopping cart this is just a little miniature one and you can get these on eBay you can get them with the, like your company logo on them but I just found them at a thrift store or you can buy them on eBay and then just don't decide to personalize them. Whatever you want. So the wheels do turn and I like that because if I'm working with a group they can indicate whose turn it is by pushing the cart over to someone else. So they go to one of the stores and then they push the cart to the next person and then the next person can shop. So that's how I play with Play Store. It's great, it's great for categories, function, just general vocabulary, prepositions. You can see this little guy here is holding the book open. You can see what it looks like open, so it looks so great. So many great pictures. So that's Play Store. The next one is Play Cleaning. I might as well show them to you. And again, Scholastic, and here's the back, shows you a little sneak peek. 
what you're going to get. This one's really good for action words, for cleaning, for locations in the house. Oh, where do you find a plunger? <laughs> where do you find a pot? So this one is the sink and you can go under the sink to look for things. And those little ledge pockets are there too. And you, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's ledges here and in the dish drying rack and in the sink. So nice prepositions. This one is the dishwasher. So we've got the shelves, so we could do some sequence pretend, like take them out of the dishwasher and put them on the shelf. So lots of vocabulary there. And then again, if you lose the pieces, you can just color copy and make new ones. Laundry time. So these are nice everyday routines. Little sequences, taking them out of the washer and hanging them up to dry. So there's a ledge that way, so you could kind of stick them under there. So if I can, I like to take the first turn just to make sure that I get it under there and open up. So I get the first one in there and then it opens it up so it's easier to get subsequent ones in there. So you can hang up your socks and these are all the things that come with the laundry page. And you can also put them in the hamper if they're dirty. So it even comes with a dirty shirt that has to go in the hamper. So again, that little pocket's there so you can put them, really, really put them in. The last page is a closet. And of course my little ones like to open it. And that's some things that you put in the closet. Good for L blends. And these are good for cleaning things that go in the closet. So again, they're so versatile. To work on concepts, spatial concepts, articulation, function of items, where you'd find something. So that's the cleaning one. Then we have Play Kitchen. It comes with over a hundred pieces. A sneak peek. So we've got a cupboard or a cabinet for the k sound. And lots of things that you'd find in the cupboard or cabinet. Even the drawers open and there's a slot to put things. And then we've got what's cooking. We've got lots of things that you cook with. And then we've got our stove and oven. And even there's like a little pot rack so you can hang some of the pots from it. It's good for concepts like hot. And another cupboard. This has more kind of utensils and canisters and things that you would find in the kitchen. So good for the k sound. And then there's refrigerator. So sometimes I'll just use the fridge page and the stove page and work on hot and cold. So there you go. And even the little drawer opens and you can hide things in there. And they will look and look and look until they find everything. So that's the kitchen one. And we've got a farm book, of course. This one only has 80 pieces, but they're quite a bit bigger. You can see how big it is. He's holding it open right there. So it's a giant scene, which I know we like. So we've got some things for the barn, in the barn. So you can take them out. Maybe you're loading up a tractor or something like that. You can actually get a toy tractor and load it up. Then it has the animals, great for categories. You have the people, some of the tools, and there's the scene. So you can, oops. There's the scene. There's lots of ins and outs and in front and behind that you can work on. Prepositions, lots and lots. Like, where did you find it? WH questions. And then there's a stable as well. Sometimes I call this one a shed because it has lots of little spots to put things in the shed. But it'll show you it's kind of a stable. So again, articulation for F if you want. Shed or stable, S blends. You can just pick and choose which words you want to use. And that's the farm one. Garage. This is a, one of the ones I was after for quite a while, so I just acquired it recently. So I haven't really used this one as much. 
at the garage. It's got an old car, good for wheelers, and you can open the garage. And there's places to put different tools and shelves. There's even a basketball net on the front. And then this one says in the locker, so you can kind of lock up your different chemicals, I guess, for the locker. I thought that was kind of cool. We used to have those in our garage when we were kids, lockers. And then we've got a workbench for all your tools, good function of items. And then at the back, you've got a toolbox and that opens like, just like a real toolbox like that. And there's lots of spots to hide the tools in. So that one's kind of a cool one. Lots of velars in there. And the last one is the play garden. So this one's nice. I like to use this one in the springtime. 90 pieces. Sneak peek. I'm not holding it open, but you can see that it comes with a lot of pictures. Lots of new words. So the first page are fruits and vegetables. We've got a scarecrow. I don't think that one opens. No. So we've got the garden right there in the dirt. So we could do some sequence there. In the tool shed, we can even have a watering can so we could do a planting story or sequence. We've got a shed for all their pots. They go in. Then we've got flowers and trees. Lots of plants if you're working on albums. And they can also go in the garden in the little pockets. And there's a greenhouse at the back. Again, this one's fun because you can open it up. It's very hot in there and you can put lots of plants on the shelves. So that's it for the garden one. And how I organize them isn't the greatest system, but it works. Is I have all the pieces in Ziploc bags. I should probably upgrade this system just so I can see them more. Maybe like those little card pockets where you keep like collector's cards and things like that, then I can maybe just flip through and pick out the vocabulary that I want. So that one is garage, I think. And the kitchen one. This one was the cleaning one. You can see the plants in there, so that's the garden one. Here's the farmer, so we know that's the farm one. And the only one I'm missing is my favorite one, which is the store. But I used it a lot, so I think that it's probably mixed in with something else because I used to use it a lot for categories. So, but I'll maybe try to find a new way to organize these and take a picture and put it on my Instagram. This is such a great collection. Again, if you ever see these, they stick out because they're very tall. And... They have the same kind of like primary colors about them and these nice kind of realistic, almost like Play-Doh pictures, like almost like, almost like a claymation picture to them. But some of them are like real photographs, which I like the best. Very colorful. We could do lots of describing with these categories, vocab, concepts, action words. What do you do with those things? Tie them in with objects in with function. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. That would be great for our channel. You can subscribe. That's even better. And hit that notification bell and you will get notified when I upload a new video. I've been trying to upload one per week. Filming when no one else is in the house is nice. You can follow us on Instagram if you want, at speech fairies, all one word. I actually put quite a bit more on my Instagram because it's quick. So if I find something in a store and I just want to take a quick clip of it, I will do that on Instagram. So there's lots more ideas to be had on there as well. Things to watch out for. I want to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.